Good morning, everyone. Today we're going on a private pick. Um, this is, I'm not sure if you remember, but this is the person who we met at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I gave him my phone number. He texted me the other day and said he has some more stuff, some more t-shirts and hats, hopefully vintage. Uh, we'll see what he's got when we get there, but yeah, private pick. Um, it's close, it's only 15 minutes away from our house. So. We'll see what he's got and hopefully we can make another solid deal. Yeah. Alrighty, about to go in and get this pick done. Um, just a quick tip, if you are doing any local deals like this, obviously make sure you're safe. Like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have met him at his house if I wasn't um, if I wasn't sure that you know it was obviously like a safe environment. If not, meet at you know a public location is a good idea. And then also um, bring enough cash um, to buy, but don't bring like too much cash. In these days, there's always Venmo and Zelle, and there's other ways to pay besides bringing a bunch of cash. Um, but if you are bringing cash, bring uh, smaller bills too, so you don't have to just be like two hundred dollars. You can be like one hundred and eighty-five dollars or something like that. You know. So. Anyway, um, also go. tell people where you're going. True. Don't forget to say that. And you can see if they'll take Venmo so they don't expect you to come with cash. Good question. Good. Yeah. Good comment. Good. Yeah. So ask them if they'll take Venmo and, you know, say, yeah, okay, I want to do Venmo. And they're going to think you're coming cashless and then True. you can pay cash. That's a good and point. And more than likely, they're not planning to mug you. Yeah. Hi. Oh, Kat. Hello. Hi, Kat. Hello. What's up? Hi, Kat. How's it going, dude? There's right. a garbage bag right there full of them. Nice. There's a couple jackets in there. Are you just selling the clothes or are you selling everything? No, no. <laughs> right now I'm selling just the just clothes. Just the clothes, okay. Now with everything, when, what do you mean like everything? Well, because we buy other stuff too. Like okay. I saw the, I, I see that Nintendo set up there. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's me right there. That's actually it right there. And I play it with Oh, son. cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to like, dude, I, I collected games at one point. Yeah. And I, I'll be honest, okay. I sold out right before this ridiculous... Uh, the spike and everything? Oh I know. Dude, I got rid crazy. of Silent Hills like four months ago. <laughs> crazy. At like a good price. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now they're like ridiculous, but man. You could have seen it coming, right? Yeah. So this is the stuff so far that I like. These are nice. Brickyard 400. Bobby Labonte. <laughs> Daytona, Vincent Cup, Tide. This one's cool. Jack Daniels shirt. Some of these are pretty rough though. NASCAR. NASCAR stuff. Kelly found a grail. <laughs> so I can show you, like this is the kind of stuff that I like to buy. Um, the jersey, the jersey's 2008. Mm -hmm. Usually we look for stuff that's 2000 or older. Yeah, I get a vintage one. So yeah. That's just a cool piece though. Yeah, so one. Yeah, yeah, one. So there's 19 clothing pieces and eight hats. Cool. Do you have a price in mind? Ooh, uh, say 225. And you're getting a good deal on this one. I know you are. 225. And, I, and then I'm coming back to you here in a couple of days, man, with more. If you hit me up with more, mm -hmm. yeah, we can do that. 225 is cool. I'm hitting you up a few more times, man. <laughs> every time oh every time right. you gotta put it in the back here maybe we should <laughs> maybe we should do this in the front. <laughs> okay 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 babe every time you open oh, no. oh gross ew ryan's not gonna wash that guys you see it on his face and just know it was also on the ground all right babe so tell us 225 for 19, 27 pieces. So less than 10 bucks a piece, basically. Like eight eight bucks a piece. Some good stuff in there. I mean, some stuff that isn't worth as much. Um, not, I would say not as good of quality stuff as the last uh, time that we bought, but he did say that there's a bunch more that he has. He just needs to get to it. So it's a continuing relationship. I mean, that's what's important about networking. You know, it's a cool, cool thing about going to garage sales and networking, letting it be known what you do, so. Yeah, I'm happy with the deal. We'll go through the stuff, and um, it's hard to see like the condition of the stuff in there too. So well, I'll tell you, those white shirts in the low light, bad condition. So they're gonna be rough. Yeah, 
but I mean, even stuff like that, the price was good enough. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I was just saying, I could even tell. But the darker <laughs> colored shirts were definitely much better condition. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's really cool good. Jacket was cool. I know some of those hats are pretty collectible, so we'll see. I mean, it may just be another quick, quick flip to another reseller, um, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Okay. I think it was goodbye. Goodbye. Jeff. Thanks, babe. Thumbs up. We need to charge 69 miles. I don't know if you want to go to um, the thrift store now or something like that. Go somewhere. We can go up to the Goodwill on 60 if you want. And then go charge on the way home by the yeah, mall. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I like that. I love to shop for myself. Word. Every day. Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just, but it's better than me buying new. Sure. Okay, next stop is this Goodwill. This one is pretty much hit or miss. Like sometimes we find some good stuff here, sometimes it's nothing. So also, Ali's shirt looks like Corella Deville. Let's be honest. Corella Deville. <laughs> All right, babe, go find cool things for yourself. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the only vintage T-shirt I found. That's it. That's it. That's so sad. Cool graphic though. Mm -hmm. Disappointing little Goodwill run, but there's another thrift store down the street. Lighthouse. I don't know. Sometimes it hits. It's a nice bike. Yeah. TP Avalanche. Oh, that was nice to sell it a day. Oh, it got converted to a road bike. I was like, that's a that's a mountain bike, but it got converted to a road bike. Need a road bike. It's a nice bike. Designer Alley looking for things for. The new house? Yeah, I'll probably get like a funky mirror like this and do something cool to it. True? Yeah. A couple shirts. Huh. Little doors on the Winterland tag. It's a newer one, but good size, size extra large. Like it. Let's show it. Three bucks, probably a 30, $35 tee. Okay. And then vintage South Carolina, single stitch, uh, XL. Same thing, three dollars. That's big graphic. So not much, but two, yeah. two good little finds. I like it. Are these good? Tory Birch. Seven dollars. Are these two worn? You think? Yeah, those are yellow. Gross. Bad. Yeah. Is Roar still still a thing? Is it? <laughs> Is it and still a thing? There are two XLs. And there's two of them. Oh my god. I could throw them up together. Yeah. I feel like there's always people wearing Affliction and Roar. Yeah. It'll be 12 bucks for the two. I feel like, I don't know, I could be throw them up for 40 bucks for the pair. Maybe. 45 bucks for the pair? Yeah, they're still in there. Yeah? Two together. Yeah. Throw them both up for like <laughs> 45 bucks. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. All right, so a few good pickups there. Um, and a brand that we haven't gotten in a while, the Roar brand. Yeah, it's we haven't seen that in a long time. Still seems to be selling. I mean, our focus hasn't really been on dress shirts, but that just goes to show you, like, keep up with the, with the uh, market and look up the brands, and they could still be selling. Yeah, and things can change after a couple of months, which is why we looked it up, because just because it used to sell well for us doesn't mean that it still does. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's all the thrifting for today. We'll go home. Um, I'll go back through this lot that we bought earlier and that'll be the end of the video. Okay, so here's everything that we got in the haul today. Um, $225, like Ali said, some of the white t-shirts are stained up quite a bit, but there's some good stuff here. So we'll start with the hats. Budweiser hat and t-shirt combo, new in the bag. Daytona 500, 1997, pretty good condition. Winston Cup Series NASCAR hat. This is a vintage Logo 7 Tennessee Vols shark fin hat, little Tide Racing Team hat, another Winston Cup Series hat. This is a new with tags, 1996 Brickyard 400 hat. Pretty cool one, also Logo Athletic. And then also new with tags, uh, I think it's Bobby Labonte. I think it's Bobby Labonte. Jackets, we got the Winston Cup Series 25th anniversary. We've got a Chevrolet Racing like Coaches snap button jacket, big hit on the back. Uh, you guys saw the 2008 Pro Bowl. And then the Swingster Winston Cup jacket as well t-shirts we got the chevy racing again stains you can definitely see the stains but on white t-shirts that will come out with oxyclean so dale earnhardt 
t-shirt the old jack daniels shirt new with tags but again staining this one's really badly stained but 50th anniversary nascar shirt old delta tag you might own a redneck truck shirt good condition leader of the pack shirt this is another university of tennessee shirt i think this is the same dale shirt oh no it's a different one another dale earnhardt shirt this one is bad to the bone single stitch 2000 winston cup series front and back another 2000 shirt nascar front and back this is just a vintage eagle t-shirt logo seven tag again some staining on there i'll probably have to soak all these but Pretty cool graphic on that one, 1998. And another Tennessee shirt. Okay, so it's the next day. I have an update on the NASCAR stuff that I bought. I'm on my way to the warehouse now, so I'll share that with you in a second. Um, but I thought that on the way, I could just stop at the old Goodwill retail store um, just to see if there's anything in there. This one typically has like shoes and I have pulled some good vintage t-shirts out of here uh, when it's not too busy. So anyway, let's run into this Goodwill and see if we can find anything cool. Looks like a pair of Merrill shoes in decent condition, some good boots. Let's see how much they are. $20 is insane. That's way too much. Ooh, look, some Sinooks. That's exactly what I'm wearing. <laughs> If these were new, I would buy them, but for $8 used, too much money. What's up, man? How's it going? She's at home. Kind of cool. For $10, I found this pair of APL sneakers in great condition. I know this brand because Lululemon used to carry them. I don't know if they still sell them, but I know that Lululemon partnered with this company and they sold for a lot of money. I think these shoes were like a couple hundred bucks. So for $10, I know I should be able to get um, like $60, $70 for them pretty easily. And I always like selling Air Max shoes. I found this pair in, looks like they're in decent condition for $25, which is a lot of money to to pay for a pair of shoes, but we've sold this same exact pair for 70, 80 bucks in the past, and it's a good size, a men's size 12. So still a good pickup, even though they're expensive. So $38-ish spent at that Goodwill on two pairs of shoes, the APL Tech Loom and APL is Athletic Propulsion Labs. These are 10, I think we can get like 60 bucks out of these. And then the Air Max that I had to pay up on $25, uh, I think we can get like $70 out of these. So quick trip up to the warehouse and we'll continue with the video. Oh, Callie, this is all the, the NASCAR stuff. <laughs> it does. Can you, um, can you pack it up and let me know how much it costs to ship? Yes. Cool. So obviously that NASCAR lot sold. So I wanted to go over the numbers with you guys so you can see how we do a quick flip like that. Again, you saw us buy the deal for $225. I put videos of the lot on Instagram and I ended up selling the lot to one of our students for $375. Callie just shipped them out. 18 doll hairs and 35 cents. Mm -hmm. FedEx. Home delivery, three days, nice. Thanks, Kelly. So $18.35 to ship that lot out. So if we take our sales price of $375 and then we subtract our cost of goods of $225 and then we subtract our shipping cost of $18.35, we get a gross profit of $131.65. Now, obviously, we could have made more money if we had taken the pictures and listed the items individually and sold them for full retail price. But instead of doing that, our model is a little bit different. Different. It's evolved over the years. We still list items individually and we still get higher margins on items, but this is what a lot of our business has evolved into now. These quicker flips, get the capital back fast so we can put it into other items and then continue to do it that way wholesale. So to spend $225 to make $131 quickly, not a bad deal. It didn't take much time. We threw it up on Instagram and we got a sale fast. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that deal to you guys really quick, just in case uh, you like wanted to buy something from that lot or, in, you know, in case you were wondering how that side of our business worked. That stuff is sold and it is going to a good home. But besides that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. For those of you who have been asking, our mentoring group is going to be opening back up again on March 1st. So keep a lookout for that email 
email. It's still going to be a limited group, but we will be opening up new spots on March 1st. Thanks again. I'm Ryan Roots, and we will see you on the next video. Later, guys.